What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes, the highly anticipated sequel to Ant-Man. And apparently right after Avengers 3, this is the perfect film because it really did feel like a palate cleanser. I totally loved Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think this is a totally great sequel to the original. I even liked it more than the original, surprisingly, because the original is one of my favorite MCU films. I love the whole heist element, but we're talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp. The story in this one is, you know, they set it up perfectly in the first one. You know, they're going to find Hank's wife in the quantum realm. And it's great that they really went in that direction because it is a very small and simple story. Just no pun intended how small the film can be because it's about ants. 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 Ant Man. Ants. Man, the Wasp. I was really anticipating the film because I love the humor of this. Paul Rudd as Scott Lang is perfect, and he, of course, he steals a lot of the scenes again. He's so perfect in the role, and I never thought I would ever be saying that about Scott Lang, but I love Scott Lang in the role. Of course, you have Angeline Lilly finally stepping into the roles of the Wasp. Of course, we had her as Hope, but now she's stepping into battle, and she hands down steals the whole entire film. Yes, Luis is in there, Michael Pena's back, he does have some good scenes, but for me, the Wasp stole every single moment of this movie. Want more Wasp at this moment? It's kind of like after I finished watching Thor Ragnarok and I saw Valkyrie, Tessa Thompson, I was like, damn, I definitely need more Valkyrie in my life. And I, this, that's how I walked out of this film. I was like, Wasp was the huge standout for me. From her kick-ass bad tree and all of her awesome chemistry with all the other characters, it just works. I'd say her chemistry with Scott Lang in here is so great. The film has a lot of love and taking this from, say, spy genre. Also some romance in there as well. It's totally the perfect mix for one of the best summer blockbusters you could watch. And it's weird saying that about an Ant-Man and the Wasp film, but it really does work because this does feel like a fun energetic summer movie that you want to take everyone to go and see at the movies you'll smile ear to ear you'll laugh the whole entire time and you'll enjoy yourself as well and probably not walk out crying like avengers 3 set up that's some important stuff that i have to put in there that ant man the wasps is a total blast at the theaters also big shout out to scott lang's daughter in here she's adorable i want my daughter to be like her and their chemistry is so sweet and simple i cannot just I couldn't stop smiling in those scenes. He comes back to direct Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I think what he learned from the first film is that he learned how to film these action sequences even better. Because the first film has that Thomas the Tank Engine fight, and that sequence is great. You know, you see them shrink up, shrink down, and that was always a fun aspect to it, but this film takes it to a whole new level. And I love where they took it to that level. It was so much fun seeing how they play around with all these different kind of ideas with the shrinking, the getting big, the growing small, and it adds for some great comedy as well. Mentioning comedy again, I really do think Ant-Man and the Wasp is probably the funniest Marvel film there is. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, how is the villain? Because obviously we've gotten some pretty damn good villains the last few Marvel films, and the ghost, she's pretty decent. Nothing special, but I do like where they took her character. It's just a little bit predictable in that route. What I can say about the story, the story is a little bit simple and it's small again it's not an overtaking the world kind of stuff but it's small and simple a little bit predictable but that's kind of what i expected i didn't expect anything glorified or huge on a basis of an ant-man film which is nice and also walter goggins shows up which i gotta say i did not like his character in this film i think he was the weakest part of this film take him out of the whole film didn't need him in there to be honest you could have mixed and matched some other characters in there that probably would have provided the same exact aspect for what his character provided but i just felt like he was pretty much wasted and the wasps is a fantastic time at the movies i enjoyed this wholeheartedly i think this is easily one of the top 10 mcu films probably the funniest mcu film as well carries two fantastic action sequences some that you've seen in the trailer but nothing that they totally give away some of the best moments car chase in here one of the best car chases i've ever seen in film the dynamics between all the characters are great God damn, Scott Lang, Paul Rudd is fantastic in that role, but Hope Van Dyke, Angeline Lilly as the Wasps is the one who steals the whole entire film. The villain was fine. Yeah, the story was a little bit predictable, and yeah, Walter Goggins was wasted, but what? no film is really perfect. There's always those small little nitpicks, so with all that said, I'm going to give Ant-Man and the Wasp an A. Really enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts about Ant-Man and the Wasp. So guys, make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are on Ant-Man and the Wasp. Guys, don't forget, there's also two end credit scenes, so you're going to want to stay till all the way at the very end. Well, that was weird. But guys, also make sure to comment down below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts about Ant-Man and the Wasp. What was your first thoughts of the first Ant-Man? And also, are you guys excited for this one, or have you already seen it? So let's talk about it down below. But guys, of course, if you guys want to talk more movies, make sure that like button, and also consider subscribing, because I talk tons of movies, do movie reviews, trailer reactions, all that kind of stuff. And if you also want to talk more movies, 
hit up that social media links. Plus, go down to Sandwich on Films down below because right there you guys can get into advanced movie screens. Check out some movie news and movie reviews. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. So guys, until next time, you guys all stay classy and have a great rest of your day.